Hello, it's Kit Alowitz with another episode from the Leadership Journey segment series. In a moment, I'll be introducing Simon Jaworski. He is going to be talking about phases, the phases of leadership. And I'm particularly interested in this topic. We've got a number of videos in our particular Leadership Journey Summit series that talk about the phases. It's always interesting to hear different perspectives. I particularly like Simon's approach. He's taken it by, from, uh, by the horns and he's really taken it to heart and he's been working on the phases within his own leadership style and trying to apply it to how he works and interacts and leads and manages his own people. So without further ado, let me introduce Simon. Take it away, Simon. Hello, my name is Simon Jaworski. I am Project Group Manager with Anderson House at USA. We all are more comfortable to think and discuss performance. Performance is based on a checklist, a job description made up by managers of organizations and individuals, subject matter experts, to fulfill those expectations by the end of a cycle, a performance review is being done to check if the employee was able to fulfill those tasks and how well they were fulfilling those tasks. So based on a few individuals in the organization, defining, knowing and defining what is required, um, a very rigid system because those lists are typically not revised throughout the year or throughout a cycle, and with the risk of leaving gaps between those lists, because we don't know what we don't know what needs to be done. And the responsibility of the success of the organization relies with managers. The responsibility of fulfilling those tasks is with the individuals. Now, if we shift our thinking to contribution, contribution really zooms out from those individual checklists and focuses on how do we connect all those individual lists into a process that provides the best deliverable to our customers and the best business success for ourselves and also looks at those gaps between those checklists and fulfills the current needs so filling those holes that have either been there from the beginning or come up as we face changes in the way our business runs. My belief is that we need to have a healthy balance between the two in on all levels of the organization and within every individual. So having performance is a set expectation. This is what you're hired for. This is what needs to be delivered. And we make sure you as an individual are able to perform to that. Contribution is how do we go above and beyond outside of our direct role of the set tasks? How do we connect those, connect those dots? How do we merge together as a team for the best success that we can do? So my challenge to you, think about your individual performance and contribution and the balance between the two. Grab your body, discuss, align on, and come up with your healthy balance.